We, um, Chris used to run a little coffee house um, that had bands play, you know, certain nights of the week or whatever. All of us were in bands that played around there, and, uh, and sort of, it, he, he created this little scene that we just off all when we grew up, and so, and, you know, we, just, we all became fast friends, and, 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 you know, starting a band together really wasn't ever anything that we discussed, we just kind of hung out all the time, and then we just so happened to Sort of accidentally all fell together. Now, high school was actually really good, but it just sort of just like goes on in my life during those years, you know, sort of shaped for me anyway. Because you're quite young. Yeah, they shaped so many things happen to you. You know, you experience love for the first time, you know, your first drink of booze, and you know, just, there are just so many things that shape who you're going to at that time. And so, uh, you know, it's, it's one of those things. And the attitudes and sort of like the, the, uh, politics that we learned in high school really never go away. No, it's very cliche kind of jokes and Absolutely. Right. It's always, there's always no, going to be those clicks no matter what you did in life. Yeah. Um, well, the, uh, the guys that created the show were big fans of Bowling for Soup. When they got the, to pitch the pilot to Disney, they, they sought us out to perform the theme. And they had a 25 second theme song that they wanted me to make into a three and a half minute radio song. So they, they flew me to LA and I met with them. We became fast friends. And um, so yeah, I. Uh, I, I ended up writing the, the flick song that, uh, that would be on the radio, um, and then I got I also got cast as Danny, the lead singer of the Love Me show. So I sing on the show about twice a season. Yeah. So uh, yeah, it's it's really fun. So, uh, it was, uh... Well, for us, it's, it's just that you know. We genuinely uh, like what yeah, we do. Yeah, yeah, we genuinely yeah, like each other. Yeah, we, we play with the bands all the time. We can't stand each other. So bad on it. And um, I like a band full out that's gone. We've never had anything that's been too bad. I mean, we, I mean, so we fight, but we fight like brothers. It's, it's, you can say what you got to say, and it's over. The next thing you know, you're like, hey, let's go have a beer. So, um, but yeah, I mean, we just. Uh, and we stay true to who we are. You know, we haven't tried to become anything that we're not. We're just and um, I think that's that's helpful. Oh uh, yeah. Well, of Soup's helped me out through a lot of difficult times. Is there anyone, any rock star, or any per, anyone personal in your life that's helped you out through difficult times in, in times in need? Um, well, just pretty much music as a whole for me. I mean, mm -hmm. you know, the, the difference is in this time. That you know that you've grown up in, you have so much access to bands, you know, via the internet, and, and you know sort of who we are and how we live our lives, and, and, and that. Whereas you know, whenever I was growing up, we really didn't know anything about musicians or other than what they really wanted us to know. You know, and a lot of it, I grew up as, as a hair metal fan, so most of it was fictional. What mm -hmm. they, you know, the houses that they lived, it wasn't real. You know, and uh, and so. You know, even the little videos that they would release, it would be these sort of things of, of you know, they live with all of these girls and hot tubs and stuff like that. That's not what their lives are like. But, but yeah, I mean, just music as a whole for me um, got me through everything. You know, whether it was a uh, broken heart or uh, just, you know, problems at home or whatever. Uh, we actually, they heard that song for the first time. Um, and we were in a fast food restaurant drive through and the demos had come in. And we, had, we were already in Atlanta, ready to start recording the album. And so we were just listening to the demos on the way to the studio. And um, that song came on. I was like, oh, you guys haven't heard this one. And so they, they all listened through and, and they all kind of teared up a little bit, actually. So it was, uh, <laughs> It was quite a nice little moment. It was kind of a bit of a song, so it's more of our song, so... Uh. Right, well, it was, it was definitely, it, it, it affected them in a, in a way, with, you know, which I would have as good as I could have hoped it was great. The, the real reason why we don't play it live is it would pretty much just be me up there playing it by myself. And since it's just an acoustic song, it's just, that is, that is actually the demo. The recorded version of that is me, and my friend Casey, he's on piano and I'm on guitar. It's one take, and that was just to demo it, but it came out so good we just kept it. So um, yeah, it's it's um, it, 
but we do it live on the acoustic tour. So we came over in April and did an acoustic tour this year, and we'll be back next year as well. And we do it. Yeah, it was. Yeah, my wife was in labor, and they were about to stick the epidural in her back on the phone ring. And the nurse picked up the phone, and she said, "Mr. Riddick, it's for you." And I just said, "This better be good. I'm in the middle of some serious shit." And the manager said, uh, "Hey, I just, I, 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 I can't believe I'm having to call you during this time, but you just got nominated for a Grammy." And I'm like, "Okay, thanks." Just hung up. I didn't really register to me. You know, it wasn't until afterwards that I realized it was already in the paper and, and you know, I mean, it was real, it was happening. I had the midwives were trying to ask you about that uh, during that time. Yeah, the nurses were asking, uh, you know, um, what are you going to wear? Are you going to get a go? And, you know, all this. I'm just like, let's focus, guys. Let's get this kid out of here. You know, it's really interesting, the festivals that we do over here and the festivals that we do even in Germany and such will be sandwiched in between Machine Head or Godhead and Slayer and all of these metal bands and for some reason we're, we're received really well and you know, I can only think just because, again, I think it goes back into how genuine we are as a band, you know, I mean, people, people see we're up there having a great time. Our music's really easy to listen to, and you know, it's fun to drink beers and listen to the soup. So, I'm right. you know, the uh, I, I I can't really explain it other than just I just think people get us, especially in in this part of the world.